Before starting the video, click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Hello and welcome to House of Commerce. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss about marginal and absorption costing and content of today's lecture is about marginal and absorption costing definition and we shall discuss about two of the practical examples. So stay tuned and watch till end so that you may come to know that how to solve the questions under the marginal and absorption costing. Okay, so absorption costing is used for preparing the financial statements as you normally do. So what does it mean that absorption costing is used for preparing the financial statement? Because in financial statements, you use all the variable and fixed cost. So while doing the absorption costing, you have to take all the variable and fixed cost as the production cost. And you have to deduct it from the sales revenue as you normally do. Marginal costing is used for management purposes only as management wants to know that how much profit it can make which is known as contribution here. How much profit it can make by cutting the cost of variable expenses which are in the hand of company and it uses the fixed cost as well for knowing the profit but the contribution is necessary for knowing that how they can increase the profit and reduce the variable expenses. So they use only variable expenses in marginal costing. By this format you will understand more that what is marginal costing. So marginal costing or variable costing both are same. So here we have sales revenue then we will deduct all the marginal cost of sales means the cost of sales which is at variable cost. So opening inventory at variable cost then cost of production variable only then we would deduct closing inventory but at variable cost. Then we will have cost of sales at variable cost. Then we would deduct all the variable distribution and administration expenses. We will get the contribution means the profit derived after deducting the variable cost only. Then we will deduct all the fixed cost and then we will get the profit for the year. We will see the practical examples of this as well. So stay tuned. So before watching the format of absorption costing you need to know one thing that what is absorption rate per unit. Absorption rate per unit means variable production overheads plus fixed production overheads. So by adding the variable and fixed, you will get the absorption rate per unit. Now let us come to the point, absorption costing income statement. We have a format, sales revenue, then we will deduct cost of sales, but at absorption rate means variable plus fixed so we will have opening inventory variable plus fixed both then production cost variable and fixed both then we will deduct closing inventory variable and fixed both so we will have cost of sales at absorption cost then by deducting cost of sales from sales revenue we will have gross profit at normal now let us take a look on a solved example so that you can understand it better the what is ma marginal costing and what is absorption costing and how to solve the question by this. So we have a question that sales revenue is 100,000 then raw material 24,000 direct labor 14,000 variable manufacturing overheads 9,000 fixed manufacturing overhead 7000 and then variable distribution and administration expenses 4500 and fixed distribution expenses 5000. Now let us solve it by ma marginal costing. So we have sales revenue of 100,000. So we have here sales revenue. Then we would deduct the marginal cost of sales. So for taking marginal cost of sales we have to have all the production expenses so raw material and direct labor we will take both of this here and then we are doing 
only marginal costing so we will take the variable manufacturing overheads and variable distribution and admin expenses so we will take both here so by adding all this we will get the total cost of sales 51500 so we will deduct 51500 by this 1 lakh and we will get 48500 as contribution so this contribution shall be used by the management to get to know about what profit they will get by only deducting the variable cost and how much should the variable cost be deducted to earn more profit and then the management shall deduct the fixed manufacturing overheads which cannot be changed which will remain the same till last so they will deduct both of this and they will get the profit which is known as net profit so let us solve the same example with absorption costing so we have 100,000 sales revenue and we have all the cost of sales which is fixed plus variable so we will take raw material direct labor variable manufacturing and fixed manufacturing all of this here we will take all this then by adding all these we will get cost of sales and by deducting it from 1 lakh we will get 46,000 then we will deduct variable plus fixed distribution expenses so variable plus fixed distribution expenses we will deduct it 9,500 from 46,000 and then we will get a net profit of 36,500 so this is how to solve by the absorption costing now let us take a look on example number two here we have topper plastic makes and sale a single product in September 2016 it produced and sold 30,000 units information for September 2016 was sales price per unit $25 then direct material cost per unit is $6 then we have direct wages per hour 3 variable manufacturing overheads 2 variable sell selling expense $4 and fixed manufacturing overheads $160,000 then we have fixed admin and distribution expenses $50,000 so let's take a look at how to solve it so we will solve it by marginal costing first so marginal costing says that firstly we will have a sales revenue we have 30,000 units into this 25 selling price so we will have seven seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars then we will have marginal cost of sales means all the cost shall be at variable cost so here we have direct material cost six and direct labor per hour three so we will multiply by thirty thousand both of this so direct material thirty thousand into six one hundred and eighty thousand then 30,000 into 3 90,000 then we will have variable cost only so variable manufacturing overheads are two dollar so we will multiply it by 30,000 so we will get sixty thousand dollars then variable distribution expenses so variable distribution expenses are four so we will multiply it by 30 and we will get 120,000 so we will add all these costs which are variable and then we will get four hundred and fifty thousand dollars so by deducting four hundred and fifty thousand dollars from this sales revenue we will get a contribution of three hundred thousand then we will deduct all the fixed cost all the fixed cost from this contribution so by deducting the fixed cost from this contribution we shall have a profit of ninety thousand dollars now let us solve it by absorption costing so we shall have the same sales revenue 
this 30,000 into 25 and we will get seven lakh and fifty thousand dollars then we will have the marginal cost of sales same as we had in marginal costing so direct labor and direct material this six and three shall be multiplied by thirty thousand so thirty thousand into six one hundred and eighty thousand and thirty thousand into three ninety thousand then variable production overheads which are two dollars into 30,000 so we shall have 60,000 and then we will have the fixed manufacturing overheads which are 160,000 and by adding all these costs we will get the fixed manufacturing overhead then by deducting it from 750,000 we shall have 260,000 as gross profit then distribution and admin expenses we shall deduct both variable Manif uh, variable distribution and admin expenses and fixed distribution and admin expenses so by deducting both of these 120,000 and 50,000 we shall have a net profit of 90,000 so this was all for today now that's all for today's lecture if you have any question regarding today's lecture you can put your question into the comment section and that shall be answered into the next videos. Till then, good luck.